Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to The Settlers 2. Things are going pretty well, I've got to say. Uh, we have managed to push off, we've managed to eliminate all but one opponent. We've got one final push now down towards the, uh, down to the portal. The final portal, this last one. Uh, we're currently training up some troops at the moment. We've got some gold coins that are running around, doing the rounds. Uh, most of our uh, buildings further back from this little choke point have have all but cleared out. Um, oh, you're you're all done, so you can be gone. Everything back here is cleared out as well, so that's good. Uh, yeah, we're going to be trying our hardest to push into the Greens territory today. I'm wondering if you know we we might have enough. Uh, luck, depending on uh, troop numbers and all that sort of stuff. We've got a decent amount of soldiers in reserve. We are bringing gold coins down to tr to promote people. It's just a very slow, uh, slow state of things at the moment. Um, we do have more gold mines up here. What's the food supply like? Th this is just none. None food. No flour, no grain, absolutely bloody nothing. Is my donkey st donkey farm still working? No, I've turned production off there. Uh, what about, like, beer supply? I think we can probably stop the brewery. If that's still up. That's still running. Yeah, we can turn that off. Yeah, I think I want to try to push for a victory today. Might be a tall order. But I certainly think we have got a chance of it. I think. <laughs> I don't want to get too hopeful. One thing I do want to do, I want to bring more uh, military structures up this way. I want to keep pushing my borders around. And I want to see what resources we have up here. Because if we've got more gold on the mainland that we could be using and not having to ship in, that would help to increase our um, our production by a fair bit. Could be very good for business. Oh dear, we're under attack. Huh, they're attacking with a lot. Not all of them generals, though, so that's a little bit of a relief. Apparently one of my generals is just invisible. He's going into stealth mode, I can appreciate that. Oh, they're doing a good job of chewing through some of my soldiers. Don't appreciate that. I mean, I've got generals in reserve. So that's alright, but still. Oh, that cleared out a lot of them. Yeah, I think we're going to have to try and push this advantage fairly soon. I think we're done with promotions. Gold coins are starting to build up in... Uh, oh, one one more coin needs to go there, and it's, it's on its way. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I checked up here what the resources were like, either. Uh, we've got coal up here, okay. Coal is okay. I don't mind coal. Gold would have been good. Oh, we've got more coal over this way as well. Damn. I mean, again, you know, coal's good, but not what I was hoping for. I'll be honest. Okay. A good number of these troops are starting to heal up. So I think I'm going to try and push my front lines forward a little bit soon. I'm going to go for this guardhouse, this watchtower. And depending on how much enemy territory we can see at that point, um, I think I might chuck down a lookout tower so I can see where we're going to be going. That'd be very handy. Yeah, we're fully trained up. Just waiting for some, some healing to happen. I don't want these guys going out without full health. Right, I believe we are ready to go. I'm going to attack this guardhouse with 12 and the watchtower... Oh, the watchtower with 7? Oh, that's not fantastic. And... How many are they defending with? 
Not too many, but they... The ones coming out to defend are all generals, except for the ones in the guardhouse. Ooh, might their gold supply be whittling down? That could be good news. Oh, we got it. Oh, damn it, they managed to get some reinforcements in there. But they are reinforcing these buildings with weakened soldiers, with, with lower quality soldiers. So, at the very least, I'm lowering the strength of their military. Bloody hell, where are they coming from? They're getting out here really damn quickly. Where did you come from? It's a storehouse here. Is that what the problem is? Is that where they're coming from? Because he just he just seemed to appear out of the sawmill. <laughs> yeah, they're coming out of that storehouse. Oh, just. Huh. Right, we need to get rid of that storehouse, so that watchtower's got to go next. Hmm. I'm under attack at a guardhouse. They're immediately trying to take it back. Oh, you cheeky sons of bitches. I see you want to play these games. Okay, successful defense. Fantastic. Yeah, this, this watchtower needs to go. I need to get rid of this storehouse. This is a problem building because it's just spewing out soldiers. And we've got some healing to do. Not too much, I reckon. But it's enough. These, some of these buildings further back are really starting to clear out, though. So that's pretty good. But yeah, this watchtower and this one I really want to claim because then this is a this is like a solid choke point here, which could make it difficult to get through. So we're gonna have to see how things go as we try to push forward. Okay, I am going to go for this watchtower with all the troops that I can muster, so... 13, do it. They do ha still have some generals that are coming out to attack, but I'm not seeing much in the way of gold coins going to their structures anymore. So I have a feeling that... Yeah, we're still going to be dealing with generals as we push further and further into their territory. But... It's going to be a finite supply, we're not going to be... We're not going to be, uh dealing with ridiculous numbers of highly trained soldiers constantly. And we got that one. Oh, look at how much that tore down! <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm feeling fairly confident after that. We've got a little bit of healing to do again. But otherwise, I am going to get a lookout tower set up here, just so I can see out into this space. I want to know what the lay of the uh, lay of the land is like, where the where all the military structures are, because we need to go for those first and foremost. Well, obviously, but I want to <laughs> I want to know how to plot out my my advance. And I think while I'm waiting for that to be built, I'm going to go and attack this <laughs> with twenty soldiers, and they they don't have anything to mount a defense with. Ooh, I think it might be plain sailing from here, boys. <laughs> yup. <laughs> it's just more structures further back this way that I can clear out. More generals to keep in the reserves, keep them as backup. Even this stronghold is cleared out now. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, there's 22 generals in reserve at the moment. Along with a growing number of privates, and we've got corporals and sergeants. And the gold coin supply is starting to build up. We're sitting at 11, there's 12 on the way. So, things are looking good right now. Lookout tower's going up as well, so as soon as we've got an idea of what we're walking into, uh, we will be doing exactly that. We'll be just strolling straight on in. That looks like a big building. Is that their headquarters? Ooh, I think it might be. Which means that that's going to be pretty difficult to take down, because we've got... We haven't got huge buildings around this way. Um, if I were to... Change up some of these roads... You cannot be extended. Damn it. 
That is a disappointment. Lookout tower is ready. Just waiting on a scout. And we can see what we're going to be getting ourselves in for. I reckon it's not going to be too bad. I think they've likely just run out of stuff at this point. Quite possibly. We haven't. <laughs> I'm, I'm even considering... Um, if I get sneaky with some road stuff... Can these be extended? You can't. You can. Okay, we're extending you up into a stronghold. Where is that scout? I want him to come and... Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was about to start yelling at you, sir. I need you to come and have a, have a peek into enemy territory for me. Do you mind? I mean, you're going to anyway. You haven't got a choice. I thought I'd ask. Right. Yep, that's a that's a headquarters. Well, there's a catapult over there as well. I can attack that with eleven right now. I can attack that with sixteen. I'm not sure if that guardhouse is going to be out of range of this guy. Can't attack that watchtower down here, can I? No. Hmm. That's the trouble with these little bottlenecks, is they can be really awkward when you when you can't get your structures in properly. Like, I can't do... Short of tearing all of this stuff down, which would push their borders out and give me less space to work with, there's not a whole lot I can do about anything. What's going on with all this? What, what is this road mess up here? What is... Oh, I don't know. You guys just do what you want, don't you? There's no, no method to your madness. Okay, what I might do... I'm going to tear down this guardhouse. I'm hoping that that's three generals in there. I didn't think to evacuate the damn building. But what I want to do is potentially move the watchtower to here. Or somewhere else in the vicinity. And see if I can, you know, build another build another watchtower in a, in a better location, so that I can reinforce my front lines a bit better. So, yeah, that was three, all just merged into one. Okay, that's good. Right, I can get a watchtower in here. That's good news. I could probably get rid of this lookout tower as well. I don't need you anymore. If in doubt, tear it down. Build your own shit. In places where it works and can and can be better for you. So what I might do as well is once this watchtower is uh, upgraded into a stronghold, I could potentially tear this tear this one down. I could tear this one down and build a stronghold somewhere else if I can if I can get a bigger building in. I should have seen if I could have built a stronghold. I probably can to be honest. I just need to rearrange these roads a bit. I'm just going to go maximum speed on this for a bit, just so that we can get this reinforcement done. I'm not too sure if I will faff around with these watchtowers too much. I think one stronghold and two watchtowers is probably going to be enough to buff up the front lines a bit. Alright, we got that stronghold done. That watchtower is going up nice and quick. Uh, and a coal mine has run out. Oh dear. That's fine. We're actually doing really well on coal at the moment. We've got like 230? We're not doing great with gold, unfortunately. Maybe we should hook these up. But I mean, you know, food supply is like non existent. Oh. Well, it kind of is. Got, we've got bread. We've got quite a lot of grain now. Grain stores have built up now that I turned the uh, the brewery off. Uh, I don't get off of this shit sometimes. <laughs> These gold mines don't seem to be running though. All oh, right, they, they they just aren't being provided with food at a decent rate because this coal mine is going gangbusters. 
Oh, watchtower's done. Awesome. Okay, slow things down a little bit. We can uh, figure out where we're at and what we're doing. We can attack that with 22 now. We can go for the headquarters with 14. Ooh. Right, let's go for the guardhouse with 12, just to start us off. I want to see if it's going to be within range of this catapult. Because if it is, it could be a problem. If it's not, then that's going to be pretty good, actually. And are you all they could send out? <laughs> oh, dear. F. That uh, sounds like it's in range. Yep. Is that going to be an instant hit? No. Okay. Oh god, all of you buggers ran off, didn't you? Shit. Okay, I can attack the headquarters with ten. And what I'm thinking of doing... Yeah, because they're still supplying stone to the catapult, so... It's going to get a shot in, eventually. It's going to hit me, I know it. It always does. What I'm thinking of doing is attacking the headquarters with everything I can and then evacuating this so on the off chance that something hits it uh, attacking with 11 is that all? Mm. alright, go for it um, then yeah, we'll evacuate you so you're out of harm's way if that building goes then it's not a huge loss But now we get to see what they've got in store for us. It's like the final showdown. <laughs> Come on. Are you the last one? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got a good view of that one. We unfortunately didn't manage to destroy that catapult. That didn't take a huge amount of space for, for us, really. It's fine. I can work with it. Uh, we'll, we'll let soldiers back into this building. So I think that catapult isn't firing for some reason. I don't quite know why. But it's not doing anything. Oh man, even that stronghold is cleared out. Yeesh. I am going to be struggling to get further into this territory. Can't extend you, can I? No, of course I can't. I do think once we can we can properly occupy this space, we'll be able to do a damn sight better with like taking structures and, and fortifying our position in here. Um, yeah, just attack that with three. We're gonna have to. I can't do any better. Short of building military structures in here, but that, that doesn't seem like a wise idea. Not when there's a catapult right there. I don't fancy having a contend with that. But hey, one general versus three. How badly could I lose there? Jesus Christ, you are not doing a good job already, are you? Come on, general. Don't, don't fail me. We're on, we're on the final stretch. We're nearly there. You're nearly home. Do you not want to see your wife and kids? He really does. Well done. Cool. Okay. No resources found at a coal mine. Oh dear. Building without worker gold mine. Oh right. Yeah. Kind of forgot about all of those. <laughs> you still don't seem to be doing anything. Mm, you got me nervous. I don't trust catapults that just sit there quietly. Stop telling me I've got buildings without workers. I'm aware. Oh, that portal is so close. It's so close I can smell it. Mmm. Smells like transdimensional physics. Okay. Let's just keep pushing forward. Ooh. I'm excited to get this finished. Of these. These buildings don't have flags on them. Do they not have any soldiers in them? 
Did they evacuate their buildings to try and take me on? Ooh, okay, interesting. Come on, General. Come on. Ah, oh, damn. We lost one. Hooray! Ooh. It's, it's feeling a little anticlimactic for, like, the trickle of soldiers that I'm able to bring through all of this. It's not exactly a, a spectacularly glorious sort of crusade, is it? It's more just kind of like, alright, three of you go off that way and go and hit them for a bit. But, I mean, how many have we got in storage or in reserve? We got 28 generals in reserve. 29, 30. Oh, boy. 31. Oh, jeez. Uh, I suppose there are more of these that I can clear out as well, so that's going to be even higher. Why could these guys have not built, like, watchtowers all through their little, uh, little empire? That would have been far more fun. So, I'm not sure if these actually have soldiers in, or if, like, the game's bugged out a little bit. It's a bit hard to tell. But now that this building has been fully reinforced, let's have a go. So seven generals down there. I just want to see what happens. Are you going to knock on the door and the door's just going to fall down and you go inside? Yes! <laughs> okay. Um... This looks like it's going to be the same all the way along. This is weird. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Just one soldier, go and take that watchtower for me. I want to see if you can do it. <laughs> oh, this is just brilliant. I shouldn't be having this much fun with it. Fuck Jesus. It seems like it is this... It's, I think it's this, all the way to the portal. Really? Like, <laughs> like I'm not arguing with it, um, I'm not complaining at all, it just... Oh, it feels like such an anti-climax. I didn't realise the AI did the whole evacuating soldiers strategy for, for freeing up troops as well. I didn't realise the AI was actually going to implement that. I thought they would have stubbornly held on to every last soldier until until I killed every single one of them. I mean, I obviously have killed all of them. Um, I don't know. I just I wasn't expecting that out of out of the uh, the AI. Okay, uh, I'm just I'm just going to send out one soldier for each of these buildings. I don't think there's a need to send out more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go for the next one along. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Yep, there's there's not even a soldier up in this watchtower by the by the portal. It's. I, I mean, I, I know I was hoping that this was going to be like smooth sailing up towards the fine the uh, the final fight, but Jesus, fuck it, all go for all of them. That's one. That's two. The last building on the map that we do not own. I'm going to watch this soldier triumphantly walk up to the front door and just... Where are you going? Why are you going around that way? He's just got himself lost. <laughs> or is that slope too steep for you to climb? <laughs> There he goes. Hooray! <laughs> My god. That was ridiculous. Going home. <laughs> For the last time, we entered a portal. It took us back to the island not far from our home country, on which we had landed so many moons before. There we built a ship with which we sailed homewards, there to share our acquired knowledge with our fellow countrymen. One more surprise awaited us behind the last portal. 
while we had been scouring the world for them, our women had found their way back to us. They had no explanation for their mysterious disappearance. Or perhaps we simply did not understand it. But one thing was clearer to us than ever before. The path was the goal of our journey. I see. The winds of fate had taken us to the ends of the world. But now we could return to our homeland with our heads held high. We celebrated the happy end of our expedition with a lavish feast. And with the return of our women came the return of the sun in our lives. Well, there we go. Ah. Oh. The Settlers 2, 10th Anniversary Campaign, finally complete. And I think, I'm, I know certainly with the 10th Anniversary Edition, that's the first time I've actually finished it. I can't remember if I ever finished it when I was playing the original Settlers 2 way, way back in the day. I might have done. It's a very long time ago. I don't remember. But I finally finished it today. And I will say, I wasn't expecting to. I wasn't expecting to have finished things in this episode. I was expecting it to be a really tough fight towards the finale. <laughs> towards that final portal. I was expecting it to be fucking tooth and nail all the way through. <laughs> I can't believe it was that easy. That really caught me off guard when I found every military structure, or every military building on the way to the portal past their headquarters was just fucking empty. But there we go. <laughs> We basically just walked our way to the final final portal, past the final battle. I mean, I suppose, you know, the struggle to that point, it was a tough fight getting to that final headquarters. So, I suppose, in a way, like, getting that final enemy neutered, getting them beaten, I suppose that's kind of the, the kind of reward for it, is a case of, okay, You've beaten absolutely bloody everything we've thrown at you. You've managed to hold out this long. Yeah, we're just going to let you stroll your way up to the last portal and go home. Finish this. But there we go. That has been the Settlers 2 campaign for the 10th anniversary edition. And man, has it taken a while. <laughs> we started this in what? 2017? I think? Yeah, I just had to go and check. So, March... 2017 this series started and I know I did take a bit of a break between um, finishing up Island 4 I think it was um, I can't remember exactly what episode that was I didn't think to check that but yeah so it's been <laughs> you know 40, nearly 50 episodes over the space of two years to get this campaign finished it has taken a while and I'm glad to finally say that it's done so I think for now, I'm going to wrap this video, and I'm going to wrap this series up here, and just say thank you all so much for watching, and for sticking with me through it. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlists on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. I'll take the, my zapper with me, because I may run into trouble on the way. There may be trouble ahead, is what I'm trying to say.